My name is Tony Abreu and I am with Perceptive Outdoors. And in this video, we're gonna be showing you how to effectively aim your IR illuminator for the Sightmark Wraith HD. Sightmark Wraith HD. Right now I got mine sitting on top of a 300 blackout pistol. And there's the scope. There is the IR illuminator. And basically in this video what I wanna talk about is the fact of aiming your illuminator properly so that you can get the maximum effective range out of your illuminator. These illuminators work really good if you aim them right, and they make better ones, and I'll do another video on that later, but that's your illuminator, that's your Wraith. The Wraith actually has a spot on top of the scope to do to set your light on, but for me, I have learned that it is better to put it on the bottom and what that does is that basically, if you put it on the bottom of your barrel, what that'll do is whenever you shoot, it'll put less light in your face. Whenever you shoot, the gases shoot up and your light being up here will illuminate your gases. And basically you will lose sight of what you're shooting at for two, one, two, even three seconds sometimes. So it makes follow-up shots difficult. So what I would recommend is putting it below. But for this perp, for this video, I'm going to do it up here just because most people have it up here. But you can do it the same way. And in order to aim it, you're going to want to make sure that these two bolt, these two Allen screws right here are loose so that you can move your light around. Okay? And as soon as it gets dark, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the light on. And then also another thing you're going to need to know is if you see this right here, this is the head. And what it does is it allows you to go from spot. If you go all the way out, it goes into spotlight mode. And if you go all the way in, it goes into flood mode and it widens your beam out. And spotlight mode puts your beam in the most concentrative section in your scope. So what for this video, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go all the way out with it. And we'll play with that a little bit once we get to darkness. All right, so it finally got dark, and now what we're gonna do is we are going to, number one, we're going to take this, and this is your flood versus spot setting. We are gonna screw this all the way in, and then we are going to turn it on, and we're going to record the screen in the scope and show you what it does. But we're gonna screw, ultimately screw this all the way out and then bring it back in just a little bit so we can get the brightest spotlight as possible. Then after that, we're going to aim it where it's in the center of the scope. And where I'm aiming right now is 400 yards. We're gonna get it in the center of the scope as best we can. Then we're gonna tighten down the two Allen wrenches right there, or the Allen bolts right there. And then it will be set at the best and then if you, have close, you can screw it back into flood, or if you are recording, you definitely want to keep it on spot because the brighter your target is, the better the recording is going to come out. I have this issue all the time. You definitely want to have the tightest pattern when you're recording at nighttime because you think it looks good in your scope and it does, but whenever you actually get the video, the video is probably going to be like anywhere from 60 to 75% of what the scope can see. It's really weird. So brighten that image up in your scope, make it super bright. And if you're videoing, your image is always gonna come out amazing. So that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and hit record. I'm gonna turn the light off here and I gotta keep this recording so that the sound goes because the Sightmark Wraith does not have sound. So lights going off. All right. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and hit record. And we are recording. And don't pay attention to the date. The date is wrong on here. Uh, I may, no, I'm just gonna leave it. The date's wrong, but it is what it is. 
and there's still a little bit of light out but i can promise you that the light you're going to see is going to be amazing so from this infrared illuminator all right so i'm going to go ahead and turn the light on and you can see that it completely completely whites the screen out because it's so bright it's on flood mode and it's basically with the flood mode what it's doing is it's bouncing off of it's bouncing off of the scope here and what's and off of the actual hand guard and it's making it really bright so we don't want that that on there anyway so we're going to go ahead and screw it out in the spot mode and now you're going to see that the image is starting to come to it all right and i went all the way and you can see a little bit of a waffle pattern in the light i'm just going to bring that back just a little bit where the waffle pattern goes away and then i'm going to start moving the actual light to where you can see it it's gone to the right now and then it's come back and now it's in the middle and then i've gone to the left and come back and now it's in the middle so i'm pretty much in the middle there then i went up and down won't go much so that basically right there is going to be the brightest that it is going to get right there but what i need to do is adjust the clarity of the scope which is the focus All right, so on this one, being that the light is so close to the scope, you're going to want to push the light. Once you find the center left, right, you're going to want to push the light up and then bring it back down. Because if you bring it too close to the scope, what it does is it bounces off things. So what you're going to want to do is just barely bring it down to where it's lighting up your target. And that's going to be the best spot. All right, so I just moved everything through the scope and with this being as close to the light, like I said, you, you go left, right, get it in the middle and then you go up and then you bring it down to where it's, cause it seems like the light is bouncing off of my hand guard. And it's causing a lot of interference in the light so i brought it down basically enough to where i could see uh where i could see good where it wasn't bouncing off and causing havoc in my scope so now that everything's set what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and tighten these down because they are good to go they're just uh, i believe that's a number two allen it comes with your scope anyways We're going to tighten those down enough to where they're not going to move anymore. Pretty simple stuff. Go back forth, back forth, because when you tighten one, the other one gets loose. And when you tighten the other one, the other one gets a little loose. And that's we're going to snug that up pretty good. And then you are good to go. So that's how you adjust your light. Now I'm going to, I'm still recording in the scope. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly beam around and I'm going to pull the light all the way in, although it is going to bounce off of the stuff, but I'm going to pull, pull it in and just check it at different distances. I'll show you that's 400 yards where it's at now. I'll show you hundred and 300 and probably around 200 as well. All right. So that is 400 yards right there. We're going to slowly pan around something there. I think that's a reflector. We're going to go and it seems like I'm going fast, but I'm moving really slow. I'm going to show you what it looks like at a hundred yards. Okay. That's a hundred and I need to adjust my focus. 
really quick. Okay, that's 100 yards. No problem. Now I'm going to slide around to 200. That is a cow feeder. Now I'm going to go around to 200. I believe that's around 200 right there. It's really close. I'm going to adjust my focus. You definitely want to adjust your focus when you're going to different distances. My last recording I did, I actually did not adjust the focus and it's really fuzzy. So you got to adjust it at different distances. Now I'm going to 300 yards. 300 should be somewhere right around in there. That's 300 yards. Adjust my focus. It's 300 yards to the tree line there. Now notice that the the ground right there is really bright. That's a hill. But I can still see 300 yards. And if there was a coyote or a hog or something walking there, their eyes would be glowing like crazy. All right, so that's the end of this video. I hope you got some value out of that. I hope that that helps you. Definitely adjusting your, your light is gonna show huge, huge, you know, distance. It's gonna give you the best distance that you can get. Stay tuned, because in the next video that I do, I'm gonna actually do a comparison between the stock IR light from the Sightmark Wraith and the Coyote Reaper XXL. You're gonna wanna pay attention to that. Thanks for watching, please subscribe. Uh, please like the video if you liked it, and we'll see you on the next one.